Hello and welcome to The Four Kings, Chapter 27, The Four Kings. It did a thing. Whoa, what is this place? I can't even see what's underneath these bridges. Where are we? The bottom of the catacombs. Aaron must have constructed all of this himself. What are those chambers? They must serve some sort of purpose. Look, I can see the royal weapons in the chambers. And this must be it. But what is he doing with them? Push. Oh, hello, brother. Here to distract me again, I presume. Remus, what have you done to what you have done to King Theodorus is unforgivable. I will make you pay. The only thing that's unforgivable is that His Highness did not win the Great War. Can't you see that I am fixing history's greatest mistake? The king would never want this. He is not some conqueror. You are just blinded by your own ignorance and zealotry. Aaron, we've got a lot of questions for you. Why do you need the royal weapons? What foolishness. Do you not know of the immense power residing in these weapons? Each one contains a fragment of the very king who originally wielded it. Their wills were strong, even if they were false gods. And now I am transferring all that power into his highness. Then he will be unstoppable. You're so powerful a sorcerer. Why have such a convoluted plan? You had 700 years to do all of this. What kept you? Why, I was building my army, of course. It takes a very long time to create even a single one of my magical soldiers. I had to painstakingly craft each soldier by hand, you know. And you've already destroyed so many of them. Heathens. Why use the rebellions to steal the royal weapons? If you're so powerful, surely you could have acquired them all yourself. And the same goes for reviving Theodros. If you wish to conquer Ibril, you could have easily done that on your own. I could never do such a thing. I would be taking credit that belongs to His Highness. I had to ensure nobody knew that I had any part in this. The rebellions also served to destabilize the other nations, making them ripe for conquest. Then you all had to ruin that for His Highness, didn't you? How dare you do such a thing? Well, at least now we know for sure he's insane. None of this matters anyhow. I have almost finished strengthening His Highness. Once he awakes, he will crush you all. You won't let that, let that happen, Remus. Oh, and how do you intend to do that? Uh, I'd love to humor you, but I have to attend to His Highness. Worry not, though. This will all be over in about five minutes. There, there, my liege. The intruders will be dealt with soon. The soldiers I prepared for you will dispatch them swiftly. And if they don't, you and I can simply kill them together. What fun. Dot, 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 dot. Up there, is that King Teodros? I can barely tell. Yes, it is him. Wait, what are those other things? More soldiers in the chambers? No, it's as if the spirits within the royal weapons have come to life. Baron is drawing energy from them, right? Maybe if we defeat them, then we can stop all of this. That will be very difficult. The ancient kings are incredibly strong. Even fighting fragments of their spirits will not be easy. And they wield the royal weapons as well. We don't have a choice at this point, so we have to seize this opportunity. Their spirits must be trapped in the weapons. We have to set them free along with King Teodros. Right, let's do this. We've only got five minutes, so let's make this count. So, uh, yeah, we have, uh, five minutes. Before I go into this, I do want to distribute some stuff. So we got some angelic robes last chapter. I want to give those to our lords, just to make them a little bit more, uh, good. Alter is already at 57 HP, so I passed on him. I'm going to give the other angelic robe to Terrell. And, um, Max has a secret book and a speedwing, because he's pretty darn good. I'm gonna give back his claymore, just in case we need that. And... Another axe, I suppose. I forgot if there were any uh, armored units in this map. Um... Back with his family over here. He has one general there. I guess I can give Max a hammer just in case. It's gonna be hard to switch around stuff before we uh, are in battle all of a sudden, so may as well do that stuff. But now, Emily has done plenty. It's time for her to promote.
Master Knight. Plus 10 magic. Any swords, axes, and bows. I just give her a light brand though, because uh, if she can use one. And may as well give her a javelin. Or a brave lance, let's see. Yeah. Let's update her equipment in general. Can use brave axes. Uh, let's give her a wind sword. Ah, uh, she already has the eight light brand, never mind. Or he has a brave lance. Let's give her a spear. And an axe reaver. And I'll finish the rest of the preps off screen and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I'm gonna just jump right in here. Looks like uh, we just have to kill these three bosses, according to the dialogue, as well as like the map's layout. I really don't think they expect us to go for Teodros this in this battle specifically, or Farron. It'll be later on, so we're gonna we're split into three here in this map, and um, there's these three rooms, each with one boss in it. So like this room has the Hansen, the original. King of the Hansen. He's got Ursul. And over here we have Askia, the original King of Askia, I suppose. The Canis. That's all the way to the right. And then in the middle here we have Mansa. He's holding Origa. So, yeah, we got our work cut out for us to be sure. But I think we'll manage. I'm not entirely sure. Why the area around Lionel is highlighted. When I highlight all enemy bases, but... Um, we're gonna first turn use the hammer and to repair Vince Man Mangosh. I suspect we're gonna need it. Just a hunch. Goodbye, hammer. And we're gonna just run Vin up here. And put him, uh, puts him in range of somebody, but not not enough people to uh, really tank a lot of people at once. Given everyone the best weapons we have in the convoy, pretty much, I don't honestly know what Zachary's gonna be able to do here. He might be more of a liability than a help if I put him here, but I'm gonna see what I can do. So. On this front, we definitely want to move Shelby up. Get everyone ready to go. Now that Emily's promoted, she can move quite a bit further, but I still want to trust her to take an attack. But, you know, she's along for the ride. Let's get Walter a bit of a move on here. I'm just guessing that one of you will go for... Yeah, okay. Well, let's stick Walter here then, and we'll give you a uh, Bell just in case you take a lot of damage. And we'll put Ava here for now. Ava's got Mina's staff, so... That's handy. On this side... You don't really have people that can safely pull, but that's okay because everyone's range is kind of low here, so we can just take our time, let them come to us.
We got five turns to kill these dudes. I think we can do it. Goodbye. And still holding his own on these guys, which is great. Alright, now the mill... Oh, that's weird. Oh yeah, I guess the two range guys have to move after the one range guy, so it can't be just be room to room. They have to... Okay, the AI can use Fortify. Alright, so this is turn two. Honestly, save states might not even help me here, because if I screw up badly enough, it's probably going to have to be something that I have to restart the entire chapter for, but I would prefer just to have it as a uh, backup plan of sorts. Sally, I'm pretty sure, can destroy either of these guys, but let's let him let her kill this general, because she can. Uh, Terrell. Well, let's move Elias first. See if we can just shoot this guy down. Hmm, not, not really. Hit with Max's help. Let's kill you with the... Hit you with the Claymore, I won't kill. Yet. Okay, you ask rank your swords. Let's just, uh, use Nosferatu in case anything goes wrong here. Throw the Bow Breaker at this dude. I think it would be best to get rid of you. Good job. Speed and resistance, not bad. I'm gonna have Terrell go here. I think I'll just throw this at you. Alright, now on this side. Uh, definitely wanna delete this guy before he gets too annoying. I should take out this Swordmaster as well. Not quite enough to kill, but if I dance Dorian, it should be enough, but I also need Ava to do work here. Alright, if we kill you... Heal up Walter. Do the dance for Ava. Move Walter here. And I'll just Brave Axe you so we don't have to worry about your damage anymore. The more kills we go for, the better, because uh, Fortify being Fortify. Let me just kill you, thanks to Walter's support. HP, speed, luck, and defense. I highly doubt it matters anymore, but there it is. Let's give this king something to play with. And now for the middle area. Um, Wilson seems like a natural choice for this Peg Knight. We'll just... Use the Brave Bow to be sure. That 77 hit is a bit awkward. We can kill you. Move Zoe in to kill you, probably. Uh, it says 40. If we Hmm. 
That is 36, if it doesn't crit. 34, assuming no crit. Hmm. If we put Vin here, use the Mangosh to attack. And then did this. Goodbye. And we just go for a crit Lionel here with the Cordatus. Good job, Lionel. And then Zachary can just be Zachary over here. Elias, no. That dang sage. And, uh, definitely I want to deal with you right now. I'll kill Zoe. Good job. That's one boss down. I don't think this side will need help. Uh, and if you're wondering, yeah, Elias is going to stay dead. We're at the end of the game. We don't need to <laughs> keep everybody anymore. Uh, Sally can get this. Uh, we can go for this. Nice. That's two bosses down. HP... Not that it matters. And now... That would do 54. Assuming no crit. Okay. And then Emily. Um... Maybe not. Maybe Emily can get it from here? Good job, Emily. HP, skill, speed, and resistance. What? What's going on? Something is wrong with the spell. What did you fools do? We smashed the royal weapons, that's what. This ends here, Farron. Gah, how dare you? His Highness needs the power of those weapons. Now there's only one thing left to destroy, and that's you. Erg. Hmm? Ah, wait, wait. His Highness awakes. Ha 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 ha. What? We destroyed the royal weapons. That should have stopped him. No, he must have already abs absorbed enough energy from them. Ha, huh, you're too late, Ethan. Something can stop him now. Soon His Highness shall rule over all of Ibril. It's his divine right. Ah, when my lord sees all that I've done for him, surely he will shower me with praise and affection. Perhaps he will love me just as I love him? Ah, it will be wonderful. Wait, look! You cannot hope to oppose us. His Highness is the most powerful being to ever exist. He will crush you all, for he is... Uh-oh. Yeah, my lord, why? Dot, dot, dot. That's why. Dot, dot, dot. He's awake. This is King Theodros. Something's wrong with him. Erg, me, na, re, mess, rom, hubless. All the power of the royal weapons must be doing this to him. He can't contain all that energy. Mm, ag. Zachary, what's wrong? Erg, with Farron dead, the seal, it's ra. Oh boy. Spell sword. Now oh, it's like he got quite a boost. 
He can use stabs and anima magic and light magic. Zachary, your hair. The seal, finally, has been broken. My magic has returned to me at last. Romulus? Yes, your highness, it is I, your friend, Romulus. Romulus, Romulus, mm, erg. Your highness, please stay with me. Don't let the power consume you. You are stronger than this. Erg, grr, rag. Rah! Holy crap, you just blasted right through the ceiling. I don't think the catacombs like that. This place feels like it's coming down. Can't let him get away. We have to get out of here. But how? We'll never make it before the whole place caves in on us. Just let me handle that. Everyone, stand still. Ah, uh, hold on, Zack. Whatever. What are you going to? And that was chapter twenty-seven, the Four Kings. Let's continue. Endgame, Ancient Oath. Huh? Hey, what just happened? It appears we've all been warped outside. That was just a fraction of my magical power. Whoa, warping an entire army like that. Now it's not the time to gawk, the whole city's on fire. Did Teodros do all of this damage already? It's not just him, look, more constructs. He must have been let loose when the catacombs collapsed. Where's Teodros? Look, over there. Erg, rag, mina, gurn, where, erg, mina, rag. Whoa, what was that? So much power, he can't contain it all. He appears to be in a berserk state from the power of the royal weapons. He's getting away. No, if he escapes, then there's no telling what could happen. Such a powerful, mindless monster on the loose. He could spell the end for all of Ibril. We're not going to let that happen, then. We can't let him escape from the city. Curses, we've been backed into a corner. First Zoe leaves, and Virgil dies, and now these fiends show up out of nowhere? Why? Why is all of this happening to us? Don't worry, Seymour, I opened the gate to the city. Once they wander outside, we can close it to keep them out. Doesn't look like any of them want to leave, they just want our heads. What about that large one over there with the bow? Looks like he's going right for the exit. Oh good, that's one less enemy I have to worry about. Look alive, Seymour, more enemies are coming at us. Ah, alright, just keep me healed up, Jan Janice. I'll protect you. Damn it, Zoe, where are you? I guess those are Zoe's parents or something, but, uh... We did, unfortunately, lose Elias, so we'll replace him now with, um... I don't know, who should we replace Elias with? Where the heck is, uh, boss man? Over here, Teodros, Agitare. Well... Makes sense to go for him, directly, but it seems like we have to, like, cut him off by going through these guys somehow. Or... Work our way around through these guys. I assume these are unmoving walls of heroes. Meets unmoving walls of uh, Emerald Knights, or unmoving walls, or unmoving walls. Well, the unmoving walls are a bit annoying to see this late in the game, but fair enough. Seymour is the noble Teodros, who was once a famous general, Zoe's father. Janus. I see Noble of Teodros, who is married to Seymour, Zoe's mother. They don't have personal weapons, so... Oh, uh, there's another uh, boat in a little pond here, a little wishing well. They just stuck a boat in it. And, um... That's about it, really. These things look impassable. I don't know if a flyer can get over there, but... I don't think I'd want a flyer to get over there, because this guy is tough as nails. Skill plus 10. Teodris is a rare weapon. 1 to 5 range, by the way. So, uh, yeah, that'll be fun. I guess, who are we going to replace Elias with? That is the question we have to deal with now. I think we'll just replace her with... 
or him with, um, I don't know. Candace, maybe? Candace is good, I just haven't had a place for her in the army because of everyone being so good, but she can help out with florets and swords in general. Give her a bunch of swords to, to play with and have fun. Um, we'll just bring over this one, and jump in. The power of the royal weapons, can we really stand up to that? What, you think we can't win this after everything we've been through? We don't need some stupid royal weapons to do this. Alter is right, perhaps we have become too reliant on such relics. Now we have no need for them. And while we mustn't forget our past, we have to look forward. Teodros in so much agony. We have to help him. Teodros is innocent. I pray he can forgive us for this. Let's get this over with. Never thought I'd be fighting in this city again. Well, let's go. What the hell? We gotta fight that thing now? I fight because it is my choice. Teodros, I will save you. Lily, let's do this. This is not just for my island. This is for all of Ibril. I can't believe I agreed to this. Soon, everything can go back to the way it's supposed to be. I've grown really strong. I can do anything. How intriguing. I wonder how I will match up. I can do this. I can do this. I won't allow the city of my birth to be destroyed, even by you. Everyone, you really believe you can do this? You don't just believe it. We know it. Everyone here has something that makes them strong in their own way. With all our powers combined, we can do anything. Now let's make some history. Okay, so, thinking about it, I think this is kind of a trap, because this guy is going to try to flee the city, which is over here. So basically, we have to, like, catch up to him, right? Somewhere around here-ish, probably. Which means we have to go through the path of least resistance and get to, get to here. I get to these two, I guess, with Zoe. So let's work on that. Let's move. Oh yeah, Zachary looks all cool now. I guess I could have given him that Vulcan, but uh, I forgot. That's okay, I'll do it in, in uh, going into the supply. Let's go here. See if we can take out one of these dudes. Um, let's go for you. Actually, let's just park here with a rune sword, it's fine. Zachary, go into supply, grab Vulcan. Nimble Vader. Given the restrainer, you don't need that anymore. And, uh, bolting. We can attack somebody. I don't know if I want to, actually. Not right now, anyway. Let's keep moving. Terrell here. I can play for him. Um, just park here, since Virtus gives 10 hit and avoids of people, so that's nice. Move Wilson up. Emily, what can you do here? Not a lot, I don't want to risk anything with Emily right now. And Finn. Max moving. Sally. Alicia. Candace. Let's put Candace here for now. Terry. Zoe. Gideon. Always in range of somebody, but I don't know who. 
Probably the ship. Goodbye, Construct. HP and Resistance. Goodbye, Phantom. It's fine. Rune Sword broke. That's understandable. Okay, so we dodged the ship. Okay. He's running that way. Alright, let's try to break through this wall this turn now. Sally um, can't quite get through. Alicia can, though. Oh. You just canticle you, you die. And then Emily. Just brave lance you to death. Strength, magic, skill, speed, defense. Terry over here. Just bow break this guy. Put Vin here. Thank gosh, it's equipped. It's good. Alright, now we just have to clear out these guys. Let's see. Uh, this is a start. Let's try on animations for Vulcan, at least. off again until we're fighting Teodros. Let's go here and finish you off. I'll give that Swordmaster a phantom shortly and just work on these guys first. Goodbye. Zoe. And everyone else as well. Can't really get rid of that boat, but we can get rid of these flyers before they become a problem, but I do want to get rid of some sages here to give us some breathing room, so let's do that. Gideon up. Green units do their thing. My king guys moving at a decent pace. Let's, uh, Try to eliminate you with the backmost units so we can move the frontmost units up further. HP, speed, luck, resistance, okay. Olsen can stand here. And just brave bow you to death. Uh, these guys really shouldn't be a problem. 34, 30, 
42. That's kind of rough. Well, if we move Shelby up to here and summon a phantom, stick the phantom like here. I think the boat will shoot it. I want to keep Ava out of this flyer's range. we will just shoot the sage. Let's move in up the main and gosh. Uh, focus on moving high res units up now. Let's go into the supply with you and grab it. Oh, you don't have any more light brands. Never mind then. You can just wait there. Have a nice day. Eh, we don't have to heal anybody. We'll just keep Zoe here. And Terrell. Terrell here. Alter. Also, we can just go here. Eh, that's not really worth the effort. You put Zachary here. We can start bolting Ing, bolting Ing the uh, ship. Now we can. All right, never mind. Let's keep Zachary here for now, then. Terry's a high-res unit. He can go up. Emily can go here for now. And is here. Max. The uh, new father of one, unfortunately. But it made the last chapter go faster, so that's nice. Allie, go here. Lydia, you can go here. Ouch. It's quite a hefty hit for Wilson to take, but I'll live. Good show. Alright, so um, this guy is going to probably start moving this way, and he'll be at the gate pretty soon, so I wonder if there's... and the green units are talking about opening the gates. So I wonder if talking to them will close it? That'd be pretty smart, if so, then we wouldn't be able to escape anymore. Uh, that would kill Gideon. I don't want to do that. Not on purpose, anyway. Let's just go for the Brave Axe here, so we can save our time having to heal up Walter. Let's move up Finn. Well, we probably can't Clear out both of you. Well, maybe we can. Um, we put you here, and yeah, you don't have a longbow. Mm -hmm. You do, though, don't you? that. And go here with Ben and finish you off. Summon a phantom. HP, skill, and luck. Okay. 
let's put you here. Wilson up. Zoe up. Heal up Wilson with the physic. Good enough. This peg has quite a few targets to, to deal with. Terry, you go here. Max, go here with the Brave Axe. Pretty two. Twenty twice. You can survive as long as you have a shot afterward, but I think you'll be fine, probably. Hmm. Let me just put you here instead. Move Emily up. Candace up. Use one bolting on you. Okay, never mind. That ship's almost gone. Go over here and hope for the best. Miss Zachary. Doing this quickly kind of requires you to take chances with the hit rate, which is uh, not ideal. What's taking so long? Okay, the boat was thinking. I think we got this. Let's move Zoe up some more here. Heal Zachary, may as well. HP, skill, and resistance. Not that it will matter that much, but fair enough. Uh, let's shoot you. HP and skill, okay over here and shoot you. Fucking defense. Move Zachary here and just bolting the uh, ship. Okay. I guess we should summon something now. And try to have the ship target that. That's not gonna move, so. Oh boy, this is going wrong in a lot of ways. Uh, let's heal you up. Let's go here and heal you up. Yeah, that phantom's useless. It can't target, can't uh, get targeted by anything. Dang. Well. Accidents happen. Can you even cross the river? That was a fence. This is... Fence, so technically. Terry can't jump into the sea here. Way. Have Candace move up. Sally up. Dorian. I play for Wilson. Just move Wilson up. Max up. Enemy phase time.
Lots of thinking going on. I think the ship is just having trouble deciding who the best target is. Okay, that guy is one turn away from escaping, which is a bit awkward. But let's see what happens. We talk to you. Mom, Dad. Zoe, you're back. Where have you been? How could you just run away from home like that? After you left home, things only got worse, and now Virgil is dead too. I know, I saw him die. Ahem, <clears throat> Zoe, you kinda killed him yourself. <laughs> Did you forget? He fought against our army. What? You're in an army? How could you endanger yourself like that? Zoe, please, get behind your father. He will protect you. No, I'm not your little girl anymore. I've gotten a lot stronger now. No thanks to you. In fact, I'm the one who should be protecting you. Such insolence. Now shut up and listen to me. That big guy over there with a bow is trying to escape the city. We can't let that happen. I need to get back out there. Wait, if you don't want him to escape, I know what to do. Here, I'll close the city gates. I'll trap him inside. What? Trapped in here with that thing? Are you insane? I've already cleared a path to safety for you. Just lower the gates and go. Okay. I can't believe it. Was that really our daughter? Sure was. Ngrg. Ngra. Everyone, look out. He's getting aggressive now. Oh dear. Let's just save our physic. And, uh, we really need to get rid of this boat. Sorry, boat. That is not enough to kill. Weird. Candace, go stand in front of next to Zachary. And now, bolting... Wow, okay. Uh, how about... Put Lionel in range. Now how do you do? Better. Thank you. Hey, that gives us a lot of breathing room now. We can deal with this dude coming in. Defense is 31. Is that just Hari magic? I assume it is. Skill plus 10. Well, it doesn't really say. 50, 25 plus 25. Oh yeah, he has no magic, so he's got it's gotta be resistance based. So or defense. It hits on defense, like a normal book. So 50 attack. Minus 31. There's a lot of damage. But I think Shelby was born for this moment. And Van as well. Let's get everyone in this area and get ready. Everyone is going to kill this guy. we got this. We just have to be careful as the uh, thing approaches. Okay, so... Let's think this through. Pretty sure he's gonna go back. Wait, what's his skill? Pass, can move through enemy units. Well, that makes sense. Um, let's back Shelby off. Your it raised 210. Your avoid is 160. So you may actually get hit if we put you here, but... I think our only option is really to form a defensive line. As, uh, yeah, this guy's pretty tough. Pretty tough stuff. Let's move everyone back. A little bit. The 
just wait for him to attack Shelby. Walter definitely move here. Well, I'll put Walter here, actually. Uh, you can go here, you can go here, you can go here. Gideon, I need to use you to Luna crit somebody. Why would you anyone buy this? Well, to rig crits. If we really need to, which hopefully we don't, but if we do, the option is there. Gotta use Fortify at least once, right? Does everyone get top get everyone topped off, even if no one's in dire need of healing, it's fine. Alright, Zachary, you got one bolting left? Can't really use it right now, but. Olsen can hide in here. Candace. Let's put her here for now. Here he comes. Jeez, okay. Kern, kern, gra. Dang, that phantom got crit. Well, one to five range. If you put another phantom just a little bit closer to us, we should be able to deal with him, so... Let's... Brave Bow you... Well, Mystic Bow is fine, too. Not that we really need to conserve weapons at this stage, but... Let's put Shelby here, summon a thing. Okay, I think he'll stand here and shoot at the phantom this time. If not, well, too bad, I guess. Let's physic up Shelby now. And we'll just end turn and hope for the best. Nice. Okay, that was kind of... Now this feels kind of cheesy that we're baiting him with a phantom, but... Um, let's see here. That will do 15. I feel like we should turn, turn my animations for this battle. It's probably the last turn, so... If we do all, everything right anyway, it'll be the last turn, so... Wilson can't do anything. It's Allie. Can, but she'll die. Emily. She'll, she can do some, some, some that she can do something, and she'll get crit probably. But it's a thing, at least. Um, Zoe, it's kind of a risk to do that. I think we have the damage required. Uh, no crit on with Luna, unfortunately. Sad. Uh, it's a start. Okay, well. No time like the present. So you're King Teodros, my ancestor. Erng Mina? Mina, she did a lot for me. Let this be my way out of returning let this be my way of returning the favor. King Teodros, I will save you. will be fine, even if it, well, it won't, probably won't crit, but if it does, that's a, an oopsie, I guess. No quilt? Interesting. Ouch. I think we got this. 
Your Highness, I'm so sorry. It took me so many years to finally confront Remus. If I were only stronger. Romulus. But now is not the time for self-pity. I vowed that I would save you from Remus. It is time to fulfill that promise. HP, skill, and luck. Hmm. His luck is too high. It's like a zero. I guess he just doesn't take crits. Okay. Now it's pretty much anyone's kill at this point, as long as I can reach. Should I get the kill with the style for style points? Maybe just kill him with Walter, it's the easiest thing to do. Or I can go for Terrell. Yeah, let's give it to Terrell. He's the king. One king versus another. Maybe we'll get a quote. The mighty king Teodros. I never thought that I would face such a legendary figure. As Kia? Ah, you must recognize me. Or rather, my ancestor. You fought King Askia the first during the war, didn't you? I may not have his immense strength, but I do share one thing with him, his courage. I am not afraid anymore. I will save you, Teodros. Gur, gra, ag, rag. HP strength. Erg, Ag. Did we get him? We've weakened him, but the power of the royal weapon still remains. Erg, Gra, Rag. He's still in pain. What do we do? Leave that to me. Erg, Romulus. Help. Erg. Yes, your highness. Do not worry. I will help you. Just hold on. Your highness, are you alright? Erg, Romulus, is that you? Yes, your highness. Oh, thank god you're alright. Finally, you're safe. What? What happened, Romulus? Last I remember, Remus put me in some sort of coma. Yes, you have been asleep for 700 years. Much has happened in that time. 700 years. I'm so sorry, Your Highness. I promised I would save you, but I took so long. It is alright, Romulus. I am just happy to see you again after all this time. Your Highness. Zack, what did you just do? I removed the excess energy from his body. All that power from the royal weapons was too much to handle. But it all dissipated, his highness is now sane once more. Zack, is that the name you adopted? Ah yes, I had to use a fake name so that I would not be recognized. Ah, huh. I thought of you gallivanting around like that is amusing. So you are King Teodros. That I am, who may all of you be? I am Terrell, and these are my brothers, Walter and Lionel. You are the descendants of the man you knew as Askia. I am currently the king of his country. Ah, Askia. That's why you seem so familiar to me. What of you, girl? You seem familiar as well. I am Ava, your descendant. Is this true, Romulus? Yes, it is. I had lost track of your son when we were taken by Remus. But it seems he continued your bloodline of his own accord. She does not look like a queen. Teodros, uh, your country hasn't had a monarch since you were king. 
It's always been ruled by a Chancellor instead. Remus was the last one. I see. And where is Remus now? He is dead. You killed him when he woke you up from your sleep. Remus. Such a pitiful man. Whoa, who's that? It's King Teodros. He can wield the Sagittari. King Teodros has returned. It appears I've attracted a crowd. Greeting, citizens of my country. I am Teodros, founder of this nation. I understand that you have been without a monarch since my reign, but now that will change. I will guide my nation once more. However, I will not be its king. Rather, my descendants Ava will be your new leader, and I will teach her all that I know. Hey, hold on. You don't know if that's what Ava wants to do. No, Walter, it's alright. Regardless of what I want, people of Teodros deserve this. I, I will become queen. Uh, pretty much epitomizes her entire um, storyline so far. She's kind of just pushed along doing what the other characters want her to do. <laughs> Walter mostly, but now Teodros. And in that case, I'll just have to be your king, if you'll let me, that is. Well, at least he asked permission, kind of. Walter, if you're going to be leading a country, then I'll support you every step of the way. As long as everyone's okay with that anyway. That sound good, Teodros? As long as it is what Ava wishes. Dot, 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 dot. Okay, I'll become queen. And Walter shall be my champion. I have a lot to learn about being a queen, though. Romulus and I will see to it that the two of you become great leaders. Rejoice, my people. I ask that you accept Ava as your new queen, and her husband Walter as your champion. Long live Queen Ava. Long live King Walter. Congratulations, you two. You'll do great as rulers of Teodros. To be honest, I didn't see this coming, but regardless, congratulations. We've got a long road ahead of us. Don't worry, Ava. As long as we're together, we can accomplish anything. Yes, you're right. And so, King Teodros was saved from his eternal slumber. Baron's actions had put Ibril on the brink of destruction. But his plans had been foiled and the rebellion stopped. People returned to their lives, ready to rebuild their homes and improve their countries. Castle Mansa. Sebastian. Lucille, you're all right. Yes, that business with Chancellor Farron is finished. You appear to be feeling better. How is your wound? It certainly improved. I can walk around the castle without difficulty now. Ah, wonderful. You know, Lucille, these events have made me realize how precarious the rule of my kingdom is. If I die, who will take over for me? Sebastian? In addition, while I do have advisors helping me make decisions, I would not say I'm particularly close to any of them. Sebastian, are you... Sail, will you become my queen? I cannot think of anyone else I would rather spend my life with. Oh, Sebastian, yes, I will. Thank you, Lucille. I apologize it took me this long to ask. It's okay, Sebastian. I'm just glad you asked it all. Castle the Hansen. Nicole, you're back. How'd it go? Just as well as you'd expect of me supporting them. And you'll never believe this. Walter and Ava are going to rule Teodros together. Well, I'm so happy for them. Ha ha ha, I always knew they'd end up together. It'll be nice to work with them again while we rebuild everything. Indeed, but first, I think we have some business of our own to attend to. I've been away from you for quite a while, after all. Ah yes, let us get to that. Castle Askew. Finally back home. It feels strange not to have Walter with us, and I'll have to get used to not having Zachary around either. They're going to be quite busy in Teodros, but I'm sure they'll make for fine leaders. Hmm. Is something wrong, Lionel? Hmm, no, it's nothing. Come, let's get inside. Castle Teodros. Alright, are you two settled? Yeah, I think so. It's still weird to think we're actually going to be ruling Teodros. Uh, the country, not you. It's alright, it is a rather confusing situation to be in, eh? You've certainly take it all in, taken it all in stride for all that's happened to you. While I may have lost everything, I still want to help my people. That will never change. Then we have something in common. Now that's great to hear. We've got a lot of work to do, teaching you both how to become leaders. Are you both ready? Well, Ava, what do you think? Yes, we're ready. Together, we will make Teodros... No, all of Ibril into a better place for everyone. Six months later. The ship's already, Lionel. We can leave any time. Some time within the next few minutes would be preferable. Well, aren't you eager to leave? Of course I am. I've grown bored of Ibril. I want to see what lies beyond the sea. Wouldn't you agree, Lionel? Hmm? Ah, yes, of course. Is something the matter? No, it's nothing. Well, as long as you're ready, we should head out. 
Final wait. Huh? Is that? Walter, it's Harold. What are you doing here? I came to see you off, of course. But why? I left letters for the two of you. I thought... Come on, Lionel. You really think we wouldn't want to see you one last time? I... well... In truth, I wish that you weren't leaving like this. But still, it is your choice to make, and I will support it. I figured that I wouldn't be needed around here anymore, so I wanted to find somewhere I could be more useful. And maybe that place is out there, beyond the sea. Is this selfish of me? Of course not. You want to explore the world, and that's great. But I won't be able to contact you for two for who knows how long. That won't be a problem. Remember, we have magic rocks on our side. Ah, the waystones. I completely forgot about those things. Yes, with these, we can always stay in touch. Even when you're so far away from us. And if you need any food, water, or supplies, we can just send them your way. You better be sure to write to us often, okay? I want to hear all about everything you find out there. And please, stay safe. I want you to come back home someday. So you can tell us about all your adventures in person. Yes, I promise to the both of you I will come back alive one day. Hey Lionel, what's the holdup? We gotta get moving. I don't want this good wind to go to waste. It seems I have to go. I suppose this is goodbye. It's only goodbye for now. I know we'll see you again, Lionel. Well, what are you waiting for? The world isn't gonna explore itself. Get out there, Lionel. You're gonna do great things, I know it. Walter, it's Harold. Farewell. And we're off. The mighty muscle is ready to conquer new seas. I can't wait to see what new lands are out there. Let's go. Next stop, wherever the wind takes us. My turn count. I kind of wonder how LTCing this uh, game, this hack would be. 274 turns. I feel like it's okay. I kind of wonder what the lower limit is for that, though. Zachary resumed his identity as the great sorcerer Romulus. Together with King Teodros, they taught Ava and Walter how to become great leaders. Bradley and Sean. Their work during the war catapulted Bradley and Sean into success. Their fortune allowed them to rebuild their hometown, and they went down in history as legendary knights. Good for them. Chase, magical leader. Eh, don't toot your own horn too much, Chase. You aren't that great. Chase continued to travel across Ibril to study magic and create new spells. One day, on a strange island south of the Hansen, filled with ruins. Lydia, level-headed healer. Lydia returned home to look after her family. Though her siblings were numerous, she loved and nagged all of them equally. Euphin, eager and energetic. Euphin's enthusiasm for helping others never wavered, and he traveled the land, solving whatever problems he came across. Though his methods tended to be rather violent. Max, the family man. Max returned to his hometown, using the money he earned from the war to rebuild. He regularly went to the capital to educate Terrell on the various problems the common folk were facing. Ava and Walter, Queen of the People and New Warrior King. Ava became the new Queen of Teodros, and Walter was her champion. A wary about being a monarch, with the help of Walter, Zachary, and Teodros, her rule became known as a Golden Age. Shelby the Introvert Shelby seemed to conclude himself even more after the war ended. It's said he was last seen in the mountains of Askia, studying dark magic by himself. Locritus, Red Tempest Locritus believed he was a traitor to Behansen and left the country. He made ends meet as a mercenary. The pain of losing Ian never left him. Marcy, Wings of Freedom. Although her mother's marriage made Marcy a princess, she remained in the Manson army. She eventually rose through the ranks to become a general. Nicole, the Hansen's queen. Nicole resumed her duties as Queen of the Hansen, aiding in Reconstruction. 
She would occasionally visit Walter and Ava to help them with their physical relationship. Ah, Christ. Zoe and Vin, newfound independent Silent Blade. Zoe and Vin traveled their world together, healing the sick and defending the weak wherever they went. They eventually had a daughter, whom they named Lily. Cielo, Bahansen's bow. Cielo returned to Bahansen to, ins to assist in the reconstruction. Though his peers initially deemed him too strict, they eventually came to see him as kind of a goofball. Yeah, that sounds about right. Victor, a zealous fighter. Victor used his newfound income to open a shop in the Bahansen capital. There, he became a successful merchant starting a large chain of stores across the country. Emily, Great Expectations Emily returned home safely, much to the delight of her grandmother. However, she soon went right back out to join the Manson army. She frequently sent letters home, at least. Dorian, Drunken metal Melodies Having seemingly learned nothing, Dorian continued his life of drinking and debt collecting. Over time, his passion for music took over, and he became a famous composer late in life. Lucille, Wings of Love Lucille married Sebastian, becoming the new queen of Mansa. She soon left the army to work as a queen full-time. Work as a queen full-time? That's a weird say, and together with her husband, they spread peace across Ibril. Ron, the Bumbling Knight. Feeling he had a reputation to uphold, Ron joined the Teodros army and was almost immediately kicked out for his incompetence. So he went back to just defending his hometown. Good for you, Ron. Sarah, Vigorous Knight. Sarah joined the Askian army to make up for her role in the Rebellion. She was known for being a particularly brutal fighter in battle. Gideon the Crime Lord. Gideon tried to resume his previous illegal operations in the Askian black markets, but was quickly discovered and executed. Rest in peace, Gideon. <laughs> you jackass. Patty Rings of Duty. Wings of Duty. With her mother's marriage, Patty became a princess of Mansa, and she applied herself to the task. She would eventually succeed her mother as Queen Patricia I. Harriet Confident Fighter. Harriet gravitated towards Bahansen, wanting to test her fighting skills further. She even went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ladon at one point, but lost in the end. She was livid. Jeremy, Regretful Tactician Jeremy worked tirelessly to rebuild Askia after the war. He tried to atone for his con contributions to the Rebellion for the rest of his life. Colt, The Right Hand Colt was pivotal in rebuilding Askia, encouraging Terrell in every decision he made. However, outside of his job, his life was rather dull. Hoff, the left hand. Hoff was pivotal in rebuilding Askia, cautioning Terrell in every decision he made. However, outside of his job, his life was rather dull. Terry and the Pirates. At Lionel's request, Terry and his crew set sail for new lands. It was either go exploring or get arrested for piracy, so he chose the former. Regis the Explorer. Regis joined Lionel on his journey across the sea, eager to explore the world and discover new lands. He always had a flask of alcohol on him. Wilson, Guardian of Muska. Wilson went back to Muska Island and was never seen again. Some speculated he could talk to the insects there, hence why he never got any bug bites. Jack, Frontier Juggernaut. 
Jack worked with Ladon to rebuild the Hansen. He frequently hunted wyverns in the Lucas Mountains, and would return to the capital with the meat for Nicole to cook. Ah, uh, that was weird. Terrell, Courageous King. Terrell returned to Askia and worked to bridge the gap between nobility and commoners. He dismantled the monarchy and stepped down as king, creating Ibril's first democracy. Marvin, Reformed Bandit. Marvin worked for the Teodra's government, settling bandit disputes in the countryside. At Ava's wedding, he bawled his eyes out. Candace, Curious Blade. Candace traveled for a time, but eventually settled down and started school for swordplay. The students could never quite capture her unique style. Sally, Infinite Potential. Sally went back home to live the life of a normal girl. She would grow up to become a great sage, and Eve eventually moved to the Teodros capital. Cindy, Bow of Teodros. With the deaths of both Virgil and Dante, Cindy was left to rebuild the Teodros army. She became its general, and the army flourished. Elias, the hunter, died at chapter seven, 27, the Four Kings. The Four Kings killed Elias, not me, and Sue. Alicia, Master Sage. Alicia returned home to rebuild her village in Askia. Being a noble who lived among commoners, Terrell would ask for her advice often when making policy decisions. Final, Wayward Prince. When Ibril was stable once more, Lionel set sail for parts unknown on a journey of discovery. And that was Endgame, Ancient Oath. Um, the last two chapters were pretty fun, honestly. I think they played pretty well. Nice and smooth. I'd say the game difficulty peaked kind of in the mid-game and then started to drop off slowly after the route split was over. Uh, which is kind of similar to Sacred Stones, honestly, uh, in terms of difficulty. It's not bad. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying I noticed that. Uh, regarding the narrative, well, here's the thing. I'm going to make a tier list video on the characters in, in Four Kings, or try to anyway, since I didn't really use all of them as much as, as others, but I'm going to go off their average stats and stuff like that. And I'm going to make a spoiler-free review video of Four Kings, so people didn't watch Let's Play and get an idea of what I think about the hack. Uh, spoiler alert, there are plenty of good things about it and plenty of bad things about it, and I'm going to touch on both of those things. Uh, comments that, re that would require spoilers to talk about. Uh, the narrative tied together well enough at the end. It's just little issues here and there with the writing that really need work. The two main issues really are the pacing of the nar narrative. Get to the good parts quickly, like you're the, the people playing your game want to enjoy the story as much as the gameplay, presumably. So don't spend 10 chapters hunting down bandits. Get us in the action as soon as possible. Yeah, the, chap the hack would have been shorter chapters wise, but I think it would have been worth it. The other thing is uh, the agency of certain characters is disputable, especially Ava's, like, mostly their support, and mostly for Walter, but at the end for Teodros, and it's like, she just doesn't get a say in anything, really. She's mostly told what she has to do, and ends up being okay with it. I kind of wonder what Ava would do as a character if she was free to make decisions on her own. Uh, other issues regarding agency. Mm, can't really think of any right off the bat, but I'm sure there are others. Some characters were just kind of annoying. Uh, like, characterization-wise, they mostly just were 
This is what I do. This is what I can do. That is me. People have personalities beyond what they do, and what they regularly do, and what they can do. So, like, you know, being an archer isn't a personality, but being clumsy is, or, or part of it, part of a personality at least. But, but personalities are complicated. They're, they aren't just one, uh, you know, one trait, which a lot of Fire Emblem characters, base Fire Emblem characters, fall into. They end up being just one trait. Which is a shame, because good characters can be written, and can be written well, and just because Fire Emblem doesn't write good characters a lot of the time doesn't mean you don't have to. You can take a ROM hack as an opportunity to write good characters. That's not really spoilery, though. That's something I've discussed in my other review, but... Yeah, that's about it, really. We'll talk about this game for a couple more days, and move on to something new. So, thank you all for watching, and have a good one.